What's going on guys? Matt89 back for another Animation Throwdown video. This will be my second video and after watching the first one after the upload I've learned quite a bit and I'm going to try to not make this one so terrible. Um, big shout out to Magician JSO, Farmer Bob and the others out there making Throwdown videos. Keep up the good work. I would really like to see Magician Jason return to the game fully and start making videos. His videos were awesome. If you guys are unfamiliar with his content, definitely go check it out. He has some very awesome videos out there. So, on this video, it's just going to be a short one. Um, no siege, no rumble going, uh, no kind of clash battles, anything like that. So, I won't be doing any kind of fighting in this video. We do have the Elite Cardmaster Challenge running right now. If anyone has any kind of questions on that, feel free to leave a comment. I'll answer any questions anyone has out there. But the whole purpose of this video was actually this Rich Mythic pack that caught my eye. Um, the $20 boxes typically aren't the go-to buys for any means. Um, the amount of gems per the money spent, $1,700 for $19.99 is low. Um, if you're spending more than a dollar per ton gems, it's not a good deal unless you're getting Like in this pack two legendary cards So in the game a legendary runs about ten dollars if you're going to go buy one or if you're in the shop As you can see character items run eleven dollars for a mythic card Equated out gems versus money So that pack is actually a pretty good buy um, if I was still actively spending in the game, I would probably buy that all three times. But, I am not anymore. Um, I still will be spending here and there. I will keep up on my VIP pass. And, if there's any kind of crazy deals, I'm definitely going to go after them. Because, if you want to stay near top gameplay, you do have to spend. I'm not con so concerned anymore about that at this point in time anymore i just enjoy playing the game and i hope everyone that watching this video also enjoys playing the game that's why i'm going to try to help everybody that i can with my videos um there is new mythics that have dropped as well in the game i'm not a big fan that um kong is dropping more mythic item cards in the game they dropped Long Casino and Soda Celebrations. We already had a drunk and a rich item before this. I don't want to see that trend continue. Um, I feel like it's just going to be full mythic decks at this point. And that's going to ruin the gameplay, for me at least. But they did drop Mythic Gene. I am excited to see more mythic characters. I think that that adds another level of fun to the game, but I also do not want to see full Mythic decks like I know I will be seeing in Secret Fight Club. Um, there is a Clash starting next week, I will be making a video for that. It's the Fresh Snow Clash, and I'll show you what I build and who we go against. I also plan on continuing to make Siege and Rumble videos from this point forward. And any kind of Mythic Stone pulls I will do. I've been saving Legendary Stones for quite some time now. Um, I think I'm going to wait to 50,000 before I pull those. Unless maybe somebody wants to see that beforehand. Um, the Legendary Stone pull is kind of limited at this point. Although they did just put in Wong Casino, which that's cool. New for Rich, I'm good with that. Um, if there's anything else anyone wants to see, let me know. I will uh, start making more videos. I'm going to try to drop two a week during more of the other special events. Like if they drop Burger Boss again or Swole, I'll be a little more active than that. But uh, feel free to leave comments, send me a message. I will uh, answer what you want, and I'll start making more content for whatever you guys want to see. Um, that's it for today, guys.